I'm Neil Ewers. I work for the Trace Research and Development Center here in Madison. And one of my jobs is to look at all applications, web browsers, word processors, etc., to see how well they work with screen readers. A screen reader is a piece of software that allows the user to hear via a speech synthesizer. Or touch via a braille display the information on the screen. The screen reader will follow along and say exactly what I'm doing. Synthesizer test dot dot. Synthesizer test dot, that's the one we want. This is the eloquent speech synthesizer. Most synthesizers are able to speak at a variety of speech rates and a variety of vocal pitches. Many speak with different voices and some even speak in different languages. I can ask the screen reader to tell me various things about what I'm reading. For example, if I'm on a title, and I press insert F, it's going to tell me some information about the text. Character formatting, Times New Roman, 16 point, bolded, style, heading 1, line spacing, single paragraph formatting, aligned left, outline level 1. Now that's a whole bunch of text, but what I discern from that is it's a title, it's a certain style level in Word, and I know that it's a font size bigger than what I've been dealing with. But I only did that because I sort of thought I was on a title. The point is, it, it takes an awful long time for a screen reader user to get a layout even of a simple page. One of the things I can't do is use the mouse. I can move it along a mouse pad, and I have no clue where the mouse pointer on the screen is. What screen readers have done to help get around this is to allow the user to use the number pad keys to actually move the mouse pointer. And the screen reader gives me an ability to read by sentence by doing alt down arrow. This is the eloquent speech synthesizer. Or I can read by word. Pitches peer many. Speak with. Or by letter. W-I-T-H space. Once again, I'm only using the keystrokes that you could use in Word. I am only reading a word at a time. If I were able to see the screen, I would know that there were a couple titles on the screen that are in bold letters, and they're centered, and they're in larger text. I can't see that. So the problem a blind user has is that one begins to read not knowing anything about the layout of the page. The only way you know what's on the page is when you get to it. Greg Vanderheiden, our director, has often referred to it as the soda straw approach. You're looking through this small hole. You're reading one word at a time, and that's all you see. And that's all I hear until I get to the next word. I have no clue that down halfway down the page is a bold heading. Just the other day, I was reading something that made no sense to me whatsoever until I got to about what I assume the middle of the page was and then what was on the middle of the page said read the text below and use these instructions to fill out the top part of the page. Well, geez, you know, if I'd seen I would have gone right there, but my problem as a screen reader user is I can't. Another application that is used a lot by people who use screen readers is the World Wide Web. And let's say I wanted to go to the trace page. I type it in. T R A C E P R O S C T E D U. And hit enter. Enter. Page has 40 links. Trace Research and Development Center. Graphic Trace Center. College of Engineering. University of Wisconsin Madison. And what you heard it say is it told me how many links were on the page. It told me the title of the page. Now that said graphic because if the graphics had been on in the browser, there would have been a picture there of that text. And because graphics are off, we use the alt text, which tells me what the graphic would have been. One of the things the screen reader allows me to do is to bring up a list of links so I can really get an overview of just the links on the page. So if I do insert F7. Links list dialog, links list view, frequently asked questions and so I can arrow down now and I know that everything I get to is a link what's new at the trace center help using this site list information and archives screen readers allow me to basically have 
uh, access to the printed page, which I've had before, but it's mostly been in the form of people reading books to me on tape. There's a lot less time taken now for me to do things. There's a lot less work involved. There's a lot less dependence on others for reading stuff to me. Um, I have done this often enough that I get used to reading pretty rapidly. So one of the things I can do is actually speed up the way in which the screen reader reads. And the 53. higher the numbers go, the faster it goes. 64, 75, 86, 97, 108, this is about the speed at which I read. So if I then tab back to the OK button, and then we read the document. You understood that, right?